Today's video is brought to you by InsaneTravelDeals.com. We compare, you save. That's insane. Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy B. Coming at you with my first mukbang eating video, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Uh, here on YouTube, I'm new. Been dabbling for some years, but I'm good. Drink of choice today is uh, Smart Water. And uh, today, uh, we're going to be eating a gyro, gyro, whatever the fuck you call it, burger from Quaker Steak. Quaker Steak and Lube. I'm out here in Columbia, South Carolina. We just got a to-go order. Quaker Steak and Lube. Uh, I'm out here at this truck stop. Of course, I'm a trucker. I'm out here at uh, Petro, uh, out here in Columbia, South Carolina. So let's uh, let's see what we got in this bag here. We got Quaker steak and lube utensils. That's cool. We got Quaker steak and lube receipts. <laughs> I don't know why I'm showing you that, but we got it. You know what I'm saying? The Quaker Steak bag, we're done with that. Here's their to-go box. To-go box, to-go box. Let's see what kind of, uh, this is the gyro burger and fries. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Let's look at the burger here. Got some feta cheese on there, looks like. The Philly cheese steak. I got this with no onions. Uh, but it sits on top of a burger patty. Uh, some lettuce and tomato. And then you got the, the fries here as well. Like real potato fries. Looks good. Mm, kind of soggy. Yeah, kind of soggy. They got a little seasoning on them. A little pepper. Not much salt, which is great. Well, salt's bad for us. Let's check out this burger here. Mmm. I can smell the spices on the burger. Mmm. Nice soft bun. Nice bun. Mm. That burger there. A feta cheese and Philly cheesesteak on top of the burger patty. Mm. Tomato and lettuce on the bottom. Mmm, mmm, juicy, mmm, 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 it's all nice and juicy, mmm, you can really taste that feta cheese, mmm, 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 See the tomato and the lettuce and everything inside. Tastes like a Philly cheesesteak with hamburger meat. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Mm, got a little hiccup itch. Probably should have put some ketchup on this or something. 
I like saucy stuff. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Mm. That feta cheese. Mm hmm. Mm. Hiccup bitch. That feta cheese is where it's at. The fries. Mm. Fries could be better. Drink some water. Quaker steak and lube. You know, this Petro is pretty cool because uh, even though it's a truck stop, you know it's got a it's got a uh, popular restaurant in, inside, full fledged restaurant. It's also got a full Starbucks inside as well. And the best thing about this truck stop. It's got a bowling alley. I don't know. How many truck stops got bowling alleys in them? None. None in the entire nation. Trust me, I've been to all of them. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's got a bowling alley inside. That's pretty cool. Like... 15 lanes or so. Not bad. Hmm. Best part about the sandwich is all the extra meat and cheese that's left over on the plate. It's a whole nother meal left on the plate that falls off the sandwich. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. They serve breakfast here all day. There's not a lot of Quaker steak and lubes around the country. Mm, only one other one I can think of off the top of my head um, is in uh, Florence, Kentucky, just south of Cincinnati on uh, I-75, I-71. And they have car shows, uh, like old school, classic car shows every so often. And I've never actually ate there, but I just know that it's there. Oh, there's another one north of Cincinnati as well, on two, off of 275. Besides that, mm, I'm sure there's more. I just don't know where. That sandwich was good. Fries with a little, little bit of uh, meat on it. But yeah, that's what's up. I need to wear sunglasses when I do these because I have a tendency to look at the screen at myself and not at you guys. It's an old Casey Neistat problem uh, that he had. That was his reasoning for, his beginning reasonings at least, for wearing gla uh, sunglasses because he's always looking at his viewfinder and not the not you guys. It's a lot more. It was a little trick that he showed on uh, one of his videos. 
I think years ago, like two, two, three years ago. And I was like, aha. Good advice, Mr. Nice Step. Big fan, by the way. Now it's meat. And lettuce and stuff. Feta cheese. Mmm, feta cheese. Feta cheese has its own taste. It's different from other cheeses. Very garlicky. It's good. It's good on just the right things and it's good on this burger. It's good with Philly cheesesteak. I mean, it set, it set this whole sandwich off. Without the feta cheese, eh, the sandwich would have been eh. That's a little hamburger meat and Philly cheesesteak meat. Put a little piece of cheese on there as well. Little mini sandwich. Let's see what happens. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. French fried meat and cheese. Mm hmm. That's what it is. That cheese sets it all off. Mm. Good meal, man. That's a good burger. A little cheese and meat. It's really cheesesteak and meat. Soggy fries. Mm. The rest of this is just finger food, man. You gotta go for it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You gotta go for it. South Carolina, uh, Columbia, South Carolina, Petro. Give you the info. I'll give you the uh, location info and where they at exactly. Um, they're actually not listed, which is crazy. In Columbia, South Carolina, right off of I-77. Um, what you have to do, if you if you're a trucker and you have trucker path, look for the Loves in Columbia, South Carolina, I-75 exit five, and this Petro. Remember, it's the Petro across the street from that loves, from this loves I'm getting ready to give you. I-77, exit five. The address is 2015 Bluff Road, Columbia, South Carolina. That's the loves. Petro's directly across the street. You can't miss it. You're gonna see the Petro sign, more so you will the love sign. You know how you see the big sign from the interstate. You're going to see the petrol sign. And then you'll see the loves. But if you follow that address, like I said, the petrol across the street, it's not even on those blue exit signs right off the right off the freeway. It's not even on there. That only shows the loves. So it must be a brand new spot. I mean, it looks brand new on the inside, even though I've been here. I first discovered this a few months ago, so it's at least a few months old. You know, you would think it's plenty of time for them to 
get the signage and stuff up. But it's not. So I keep looking over at the viewfinder. I gotta do something with shades on. Sunglasses on. So you can't see me looking at myself. So I get in the habit of looking at y'all. Making sure we're in focus. And I'm gonna work on my lighting. But yeah. This is mostly gone. Got some feta cheese lingering around. I'm gonna put with french fries. Is anybody else doing Quaker steak and lube? Maybe I should uh, just do food reviews on uh, on burgers from different places because this one was pretty good like I said the fries eh, you know not so much but the burger is competitive this is feta cheese that does it yo I'm gonna be real this feta cheese is what does it for you on this on the sandwich, yo. Or is it blue cheese? Is it blue cheese or is it feta? Either way, it's good. Now think about it. I didn't think I was a big fan of blue cheese. I don't have the menu in front of me. Hmm. Oh well. Whatever it is. This is the gyro burger, gyro burger, whatever the fuck they call it. That's what it is. Use my little Quaker steak and loose napkins. I forgot I had I had a uh, utensil at my disposal. I just went ham. Hey. As a bonus, they give you a, a Twizzler. Give you a little snack. Thanks, Quaker Steak and Lube. That's dope. Rolled up and it's not utensils in here. We got a wing wag for desaucification. It's a little wet, wet napkin. Rolled up in a dry napkin, which doesn't make too much sense. Whatever. So you got that, that's, what is, that's what's in there. That and your Twizzler, wrapped up in your dry napkin. That's what's up, that's different. 